Hey everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of CBT Now. The Louisiana Automobile Dealers Association, representing more than 300 new car and truck dealers across the state, recently appointed a new president and CEO. State associations play a crucial role, as you know, for their dealers. Today, we're learning more about the president and CEO, the new president, I should say, Mr. Coulter McMahon, which is a very cool name, I think. And uh, the, also learning a little bit about the association's plans this year in 2024. Thank you so much, Coulter, for joining me on the show. Congratulations. I believe it's your first time on CBT News, and congratulations on the new job. So thanks for joining it, us. It is. Thank you for having me, Jim. Sure. So those that might be out there in the industry that don't know you as well as we do here at, at CBT News, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and your journey to get you to the to the point that you're at now in the auto industry. Sure. So it, it's kind of funny, uh, you know, the way growing up, uh, I'm originally from Shreveport, Louisiana, and uh, growing up, I was surrounded by car dealers uh, in my neighborhood, uh, whether it was Yoakum Toyota, uh, Roundtree Ford with Ken Shape and Jerry Montgomery at Chevy Land or Fred Moffitt with Moffitt Mazda, I, I was surrounded by car dealers. And so growing up with their kids, I, I got a little taste of, of the industry at that point in time. And But also uh, Mr. Montgomery uh, gave me the opportunity when I was 15 years old to work at Chevy Land. And, and at Chevy Land, I worked in every single uh, part of the dealership and, and, and got to kind of see the inner workings, whether that was working on uh, the sales lot, you know, working in sales, uh, parts, uh, being a porter and cleaning cars. And quite honestly, uh, I, I love cleaning cars uh, because they're just, just real uh, genuine uh, people that, that, that are, you know, working in the back, cleaning cars, chopping it up with them. Uh, it was such a great experience. And, and now I, I'm in this role. And, and, and before this role, uh, I was a practicing attorney. Uh, for five years uh, doing commercial litigation at a firm in Baton Rouge called Taylor Porter Brooks and Phillips and, and really enjoyed my time doing that. Uh, but but this opportunity presented itself and I, and I could not think of a better opportunity to, to represent uh, really pillars in their community and people uh, in businesses that, that drive Louisiana's economy. And, and you know, while, uh, you know, I told, I told people during the interview, pro during the interview process, I, I didn't have any lobbying experience but but my response was always well practicing law and lobbying it's very it's very similar right it's it's advocacy so on the legal side of things in my litigation practices it was uh convincing the judge or, or jury why my my client and my position is right now it's just convincing convincing the legislature uh why my dealers uh, are right so it, it, it's really a lot of the same uh and it's really something that i enjoy doing and it's it's been a uh, joy these past two months. It's been yeah. pretty fast paced, but uh, I knew that coming in and, and it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and I might add that you're, you're over, um, it looks like 280 or 282 new car dealerships, uh, which represent about 33,000 jobs, uh, 16.5 billion in total sales. Uh, 773 million in state sales tax paid, which I think you'll probably be ringing that bell every time you go to the state to remind them of how powerful the new car franchise dealers are there in Louisiana, right? I mean, those, those yeah, are, those right. are those, very impressive numbers. Those numbers are pretty staggering, right? I mean, they're, they're impressive numbers. And, and, you know, it's 280 uh, new car dealers, but we also represent uh, big truck dealers in the state of Louisiana. Okay. So our membership base is probably 350. And so we advocate on behalf of the new car and big truck dealers uh, in Louisiana. And like you said, $733 million in sales tax revenue, wow. $33 million in inventory tax. And and look, we're job creators, 33,600 jobs created yeah. uh, by our dealerships. And so it's important that, that, I'm the messenger of that, and and, right. and I convey that message to the legislature, but but also the general public on why the franchise model works. It's, sure. it's because of the franchise model that, that this this Louisiana is able to to we're able to accomplish uh, the the job creation and the sales tax revenue that's generated. So that's, that's right. my job. It's to educate. Um, we have a new governor, new new set of legislators, and so. Uh, I'll be spending my time uh, across the street at the Capitol do, doing just that. Well, you just mentioned, you know, you weren't uh, working as a um, lobbyist per se, and the governor was never a governor before. So you guys have a lot in common, right? <laughs> yeah, right. We're, we're, we're both starting at zero. Uh, That's right. We, and so I appreciate that. It, it's 
yeah, lobbying is all, all about trust. And right. so that's what I'm working towards uh, building with the newly elected officials. And right, yeah, we, we're starting at zero. That's right. Uh, we're both new to this. And I think that's a, that, that's only a benefit. Uh, no, no question. Uh, no, something that, yeah. no question about it. Talk to us about some of the things on your to-do list. What do you want to get done for 2024 for the association? Sure. So, yeah, I, I mentioned the education piece and, and a lot of my time from from when I took over this job uh, until now was really just educating the legislat legislators about the importance of our industry. We've 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 kind of gone on a roadshow tour the past two weeks. Mm -hmm. We touched northeast Louisiana, northwest Louisiana. We were in Baton Rouge today and we're in Metairie tomorrow. And it's really it, it, it's it's an opportunity for me to, to get to meet our dealers uh in one big group uh which is important I've, and and also tell them uh you know what our plans are moving forward mm -hmm. um, and, and update them on any sort of events that we have going on so there's an education piece there's also like i said getting to know my dealers it's important that i get to know every single one of my dealers know their issues get to know their families get to know their employees that's part of it uh, the next piece would be at the legislature. Louisiana is facing an insurance crisis right now, whether it's property, auto, uh, garage liability. Uh, you know, I was talking to a member at NADA, a uh, single point member, and his, his, his premium uh, for gar his garage liability premium increased 300% last year. Oh so um, that is a major issue. What's it's driving major. that? Uh, I, I think. There, there's a number of factors that are driving it. I, I think the the uh, Louisiana being known uh, is a, a lawsuit friendly state certainly does not help. Mm -hmm. um, we're also susceptible to hurricanes, right? So mm -hmm. in terms of property insurance, yeah, uh, that, that 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 plays into to the uh, to the rates on on that point. Sure. It's important though that that a dealership in North Louisiana isn't evaluated as a dealership in, in South Louisiana, mm -hmm. right? I mean, th there's different risk associated with that sure. instead of a one size fits all approach. So I think you'll see with the governor and the new legislator, uh, legislature, um, along with my predecessor and, and dear friend, Will Green, who's now at the Louisiana Association of Business and Industry, uh, some, some bills, some legislation aimed at trying to curtail uh, the insurance rates at least stabilize them mm -hmm. because they can't go any higher. It's only going to drive business out of Louisiana, um, and it's really not good for for the consumer um, having to pay these astronomical rates. So, wherever we can help on that front, and we think it's good legislation for our dealers, we will be there to support that. You know, for the last ten years uh, or so, uh, maybe before that, ever maybe ever since Tesla came into the uh, into the market. There's been a concern that dealers have had probably there in Louisiana as well about the uh, structure of the franchise system. And, and many were questioning whether or not the franchise system, as we know it today, is safe. Um, a, what's your take on that? Is, is it safe? It, it, should dealers be concerned? Uh, and B, is there any initiative um, to, to fight that or fight for that, I should say? I guess you're doing that every day. But is there anything on the, on the agenda that... that a, it really addresses locking in the, the franchise laws there in Louisiana? Sure. I mean, our, the franchise, the franchise system is the best system, simply put, uh, it benefits, it benefits the dealer, but it also benefits the consumer. Uh, I mean, there's competition day in and day out uh, among our franchise dealers and, and, and that only benefits the consumer, right? I mean, they're, they're, they're competing for that business when something's wrong with their car, Guess who they go talk to? They go talk to that local dealer. Yeah. And so they're able they're able to actually touch that guy when something or that or that gal when something uh, goes wrong. Um, and, and so it's very important that 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 model remain in place because at the end of the day, it just benefits it benefits the consumer from a com competition standpoint, from a pricing standpoint. Um, and and so it, I, I'll do whatever. Uh, whatever I can to make sure that, that Louisiana's uh, franchise model uh, is, is stays intact and in place because it's only, it only benefits uh, Louisianans. That's right, that's right. Hey, this year LADA welcomed its first female uh, chairman of the board in its 87 year history, uh, Miss Christy McMath uh, Herbert. Talk to us about that. 
Yeah, uh, so Christy has been an incredible chairwoman. Uh, first, first, first time in LADA history. Uh, really, just have enjoyed getting to work with her uh, over the past two and a half months. Getting to know her family. She's just a wealth of knowledge. She's she's truly a uh, uh, she 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 works so hard um, and just knows the ins and outs of the dealership. So with me being new. Uh, it's, it's just been a breath of fresh air being able to have her as a sounding board um, and really just the way she commands uh, really every issue uh, that's ever that's presented to our board or, or to our dealer body as a whole. She just does an incredible job and, and, and I'm lucky to have her uh, as the chair. Um, I mean, it's we, we probably talk to each other every other day, uh, at, at least twice a week. Um, you know, I, I <laughs> I, I don't know if those will go away once I get more experience, you know, once I get more experience under my belt. I hope not, because uh, she's just somebody great to, to bounce ideas off and she's just always available. Yeah, for and, sure. and I think that's important as a chair, sure. uh, especially with me being new. Yeah, no, no question about it. And of course, you have an incredible group of colleagues as other ATAEs around the country. Uh, I can attest to that because I speak to many of them on a regular basis. It is a, an incredible group of individuals that do great work for dealers all over the country every single day, as I always say, fighting the good fight for dealers. So you've got, you've got them to lean on for sure. And they've only said, told me great things about you. So I was so excited to meet you today. So thank you so much for joining us. Coulter McMahon, president and CEO, the new president and CEO of the Louisiana Automobile Dealers Association. Thank you so much for joining us here on CBT News. Very much appreciate it. And thank all of you for watching. And don't forget, we are now streaming on Roku and Apple TV nationwide. So thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Thanks.